Hi, happy to see you in a channel in Universal Maths. In this video, I will try to look at this problem and solve it. So, before starting, pause the video, try it yourself, and of course, if you find the interesting solution, you can share it in the comments below. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the like button. So, let's get started. We have to find out x here, and all thing that we're gonna do is is to draw a line segment, but where to draw? This is the main point here. We can see that this angle is alpha and this angle is 90 degrees plus alpha, which means that if we will here drop an altitude, we'll see that the angle that is located here will be equal to alpha. Here, if we will drop here the same altitude, we can we can easily write down sine alpha. Sine alpha will be equal to here from the triangle H1, H2, AB. So from the triangle DH1C, you can see that sine alpha, if we'll mark here A, B, H, H, will be A over A. And it will be also equal to from the triangle A H to B, it will be H over X. Yes, and cosine alpha at the same time will be equal to H over H from the from this triangle and from this triangle will be equal to B over X. And now we can find out X from the both equations and it will be equal to H B or H and it will be also equal to A H over A which means that if we will your castle A and A and H will be equal to the square root of A B not plus minus because the altitude cannot be a negative number so <clears throat> next step one of the main points is to know that a plus b will give us 10 because this side h1 h2 will be equal to 6 and a plus b plus 6 have to be, have to give us 16 which means a plus b will be equal to 10. Now the next step is to write down the Pythagorean theorem for the triangle dh1c or any of them is possible. So here a squared plus a squared will be equal to 64, which means that if we we'll plug here the square root of a plus b, uh, the square root of a b, we can get that a b plus a squared will be equal to 64. See, see this beautiful thing here we can take out from the brackets a which means that a plus b is given here we found it so a times 10 will be equal to 64 which means a will be equal to 6.84 here b will be equal to 3.96 which means that x will be equal to 6 how is it so? because we can, we can plug into these Pythagorean theorems let me write down x squared will be equal to a squared plus b squared and at the same time the a squared will be here. And write down 64 will be equal to a squared plus a squared. Now we can subtract these two equations and we can get that x squared minus 64 will be equal to here b squared minus a squared. Now we can plug instead of a and b these values and get the answer 6. If you like the solution, please like and subscribe. Thank you for your attention. See you soon in the next videos.